train of thought. 60 minutes of work or so. <laughs> Sports talk, soul beats, and life. Wednesdays after the Doug Stewart Show. Wednesdays after the Doug Stewart Show. Tell somebody about it and never forget when I shine, you shine. Life is good. Y'all gonna learn today. Yeah, 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 yeah. Doug Stewart here to tell you about my man Smooth at SmoothTickets.com. Smooth's got the tickets for everything that you need in the world of sports, concerts, or theater. I don't care what it is. I don't care where it's at in this great land of ours. My man Smooth at SmoothTickets.com. He got them tickets. I'm telling you. Boxing, baseball, NBA, NFL, country music concerts, hard rock, hip-hop, theater, Broadway. He's got them all. And if he don't have them, there ain't none. I'm telling you. SmoothTickets.com. Once again, that's SmoothTickets.com. Or give them a call at 404-374-1150. Once again, that's 404-374-1150. You got to tell them, though, that I sent you. You got to tell them that Doug Stewart sent you. Once again, SmoothTickets.com. That's SmoothTickets.com. Yeah! The Sleeper Pick. The guy only you believe in. In one week fantasy football on DraftKings, he can be the difference. So trust your gut. Trust your numbers. Trust your Uncle Vito if you want. But know this. That sleeper is out there. The question is, who's going to play him? This is DraftKings. Welcome to the big time. To create your account, click on the banner link on the DougStewartShow.com or the Doug Stewart Show app. There's a storm coming. Ha <laughs> ha. A firestorm. Get ready to raise your game because watching sports will never be the same. Introducing FireFan. It's a game changer. Finally, a sports app that puts you into the game. You predict the scores, you call the plays in real time while you watch and compete against sports heroes, celebrities, friends, family, or other diehard fans. The more you call it, the more points you can achieve. Also, be a loyal fan and earn loyalty rewards. Don't miss the hottest app of the year. Fire fan, ignite your passion. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Register now at firefan.com today. Enter player rewards code TDSS. That's player rewards TDSS. Play the game, fan the fire, earn rewards. If you're not stewing, what the hell are you doing? This is the Doug Stewart Show. Brought to you by firefan.com. Eight Woman nine. Wednesday! Sound like something. Bad boys ain't no good. Good boys ain't no fun. This is uh, Woman Wednesday. Thanks for joining you, folk. The realest, trailer sports and guide talk show in America, the Doug Stewart Show. Um, Shouts out to everybody in the chat room on Spreaker.com, posting them. Those beautiful profile pics today for Woman Wednesday. Um, shots out to Rough Buff. Shots out to T-Boy, Shut Your Mouth, T-Dub. Uh, back to Rough Buff. I, I, I'm looking at your avatar here, bro, and I'm, I'm squinting my eyes. You know, I can enlarge it a little bit, but still when I enlarge it, it's still not bigger as I need it to be. Bro, this, this young lady looks like Rudy Huxtable. That's not Rudy Huxtable. That's not that's not Keisha Knight Pulliam. Blow that up a little bit and send that to me, man. Doug at the Doug Stewart Show.com. Shouts out to Grego from X Squad. That Ninja. Let me look at that ninja. Let me click on this. Good Lord. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh yeah, thank you for changing your avatars today, man. And just creating a nice atmosphere for Woman Wednesday. <laughs> hey, uh. Coming up uh, immediately following me today on the Doug Stewart Show at 12 noon Eastern time, my man Marcus Harper Sports Talk was so 
a new episode. He's going to be talking about college football, which we're going to get into as well. Touch 32, where he's going to touch all 32 NFL teams. Ten random thoughts in the NBA. Yeah, Marcus Harper talks NBA too. <laughs> yeah. If you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, we got these football fanatics, basketball haters in the chat room that don't want to talk nothing but football this time of the year. Whatever. I don't know if you heard or not, but the NBA is fantastic. Um, and he's also got his Muhammad Ali OG quote of the week. He's quoting Matthew Knowles. That should be interesting. So stay tuned today, 12 noon, for the Marcus Harper's uh, Sports Talk Show. Marcus Harper's Sports Talk with Soul. <laughs> the hell's the matter with the studio audience? Um, LeBron James says he's lost all respect for Phil Jackson after the New York Knicks president characterized James' business, so, so, uh, business associates, get it out, as a posse in a recent interview with ESPN. Jackson, in an interview with ESPN's Jackie McMullen, published this week, made the statement while revisiting James' departure from the Miami Heat to the Cleveland Cavaliers in the summer of 2014 and what it meant for the tenure of Heat president Pat Riley. Here's a quote from Phil Jackson. It had to hurt when they lost LeBron, Jackson said. That was definitely a slap in the face. But there were a lot of things that came out of that. When LeBron was playing with the Heat, they went to Cleveland and he wanted to spend the night. They don't do overnights. It's very ironic, Phil Jackson talking about somebody changing their schedule when his ass didn't want to go on road trips. Let me start right there. All right, hold on, hold on, Dougie, hold on, and we're going to get it out. And just as a, as a disclaimer, I'm a Laker fan, so I love Phil Jackson. I love what Phil Jackson did for the Los Angeles Lakers, but it stops right there. When LeBron was playing for the Heat, they went to Cleveland, and he wanted to spend the night. They don't do overnights. Teams just don't. So now Coach Spolstra has to text Riley and say, what do I do in this situation? And Pat, who has iron fist rules answers, you're on the plane, you are with the team. You can't hold up the whole team because you and your mom and your posse want to spend that extra night in Cleveland. <laughs> Quote from LeBron James, I always thought Pat had this really nice vibe with his guys. Or oh, this is from Phil Jackson still. But something happened there when it broke down. I do know LeBron likes special treatment. He needs things his way. James's business associate, Maverick Carver, Carter, took issue with Jackson's statement, telling ESPN on Monday that he felt compelled to respond, citing the recent debate around coded language. Quote, it's the word posse in the characterization I take offense to, Carter said. If he would have said LeBron and his agent, LeBron and his business partners, or LeBron and his friends, that's one thing. Yet because you're young and black, he can use that word, we're grown ass men. Let me just say this about this, man. Once again, disclaimer, I'm a Phil Jackson fan. And I'm not even going to say Phil Jackson is a racist. You know, I do believe that most of America has racist tendencies attributions, and thoughts. I do believe that. To the degree is what separates everybody, okay? And I'm talking about white America here. Let's just be honest about this. I'm talking about white America. I do believe white America, to a large degree, has a tinge of racism. But you know what? It's not even racism. What it is is privilege. What it, what it is is a sense of entitlement. So there's a different sense of entitlement uh, for one person to the next. It might be a 5% sense of entitlement for, you know, person A. And then it might be a 90% sense of entitlement for person B. So Phil Jackson with these comments seems to be on the higher level of that. Now, Phil Jackson, as far as I know, once again, has never said anything like this that I can remember right now at the top of my head. But once again, what it says to me is, is that, Entitlement is coming through, and also what it says, the major thing that it says is, 
Phil Jackson's an old white guy. And the reason I, the reason I say that is because you got to remember, Phil Jackson is 70, um, and I pulled it up here a little bit earlier. You're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Phil Jackson is 71 years old. The Phil Jackson that grew up in the 1960s or the 1950s even, he was born in 1945. The Phil Jackson, the 10-year-old Phil Jackson in 1955, the world at that time is much different than now. And I think a lot of times these cats slip up and they forget that it's 2016 and not 1955. I, I think that's what happens. So you can look at a lot of different cases. I mean, you can look at all of these cases with all of these these cats, you know, speaking out against Black Lives Matter, not understanding where their bread is buttered. You talk about Jim Harbaugh. You talk about Dabo Sweeney. You talk about Paul Feinbaum and the things that they had to say about Black Lives Matter. It's almost, I always say this a lot, and you listen to the Doug Stewart Show, it's almost like they hate the idea of people protesting social injustice. Like, we should be fine with getting our ass kicked and shot in the back in the street every once in a while. So, oh, man, how dare people protest? So we speak out against it. Like, it's no different than than Donald Sterling and some of the things that he said. They came up in a different era where they could say or do anything. Think about it now. If you grew up in the 1940s and the 1950s, imagine how life was so different or how much different life was during that time than now. And I think that they know that they shouldn't say offensive, stupid-ass things like that. But I think that it's inherent in them. It's what they're used to. It's what the, it's, it's normal life for them when they were younger. And they, they're not the way that they were back then. They won't say the things that they said back in the 40s and 50s. But every once in a while it slips out. And I think this is one of those cases. And this is one of those cases. I, I really respect LeBron, man. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. We'll get into this a little bit when we get back from the break. We're up against the break right now. Uh, respect Maverick Carter. Respect LeBron. LeBron made some very poignant comments about this. And he's exactly right. Maverick Carter, his agents, his, his friends, uh, LeBron's friends that are around him and handle a lot of his business matters, he's exactly right. That term posse is never used for any other white athlete or any other situation in sports, you know, where, you know, you do business with your friends. You know, white people do business with their friends and their family all the damn time. There's no problem. Nobody characterizes that as giving a job to their posse. So emphatically, yes, yes, that's a cold word. And there's a lot of cold words out there that people just throw around. We know what they are, you know. Um, thug is probably the number one cold word for black people and talking about black people in general. Thug. Like, you've never heard the term thug used for anybody other than a black person. And it's BS, and we know it. And so, shouts out to Maverick Carter, man. LeBron's boys. LeBron's folk. LeBron's team of managers and agents, whatever you want to call them. Just don't, just don't try to act like we're stupid. And we don't know what you're trying to say. And you're trying to be demeaning. Shouts out to them cats for that, man. We'll, we'll talk a little bit more about it and what LeBron had to say. We'll talk about what LeBron had to say coming back up next on the Doug Stewart Show. Hour number two coming up as well. Don't go away. What is ID Life? Well, over the last 18 years, a group of scientists and doctors have been working on the development of a one-of-a-kind nutritional supplement program that takes all the guesswork out of what you need and delivers your truly personalized pharmaceutical-grade nutrition with your name on it directly to your door. Through the integration of thousands of medical and scientific studies, answers you provide to the free assessment and more than 5,470 algorithms that process the data ID Nutrition recommends what you need, leaves out what you don't, and blocks things known to the system that have possible adverse effects based on the answers you provide. The result is a program that is revolutionizing the health and wellness industry. Welcome to ID Life. 
For more information, just go to the Doug Stewart Show. That's the Doug.